Hello there Scorpio, welcome to your reading um, This is a reading about what you need to know and um, This is the dark side of things that um, some of you may not want to know about yourself or so on so So this is a bit, a bit like um, a dark reading This is a dark goddess oracle cards um, You may not have seen these before So I am cleansing your cards now to see what you need to know and some stuff that you may need to be changing in your life. Let's get rid of um, the past energies of the other reading. Okay. Let's bring light to some situations. What you need to know. Okay. Okay, angel guides, spirit guides, other protective beings, come forward please to help protect and ground me in Scorpio's reading. Let's see what Scorpio needs to know. Let's see what Scorpio needs to know. Okay, so you have Fortuna with Fate. Dear woman with temptation. Ian Garner with health. more for Scorpio please. You have Baba Yaga with loss. Two more for Scorpio please. Irrational with coercion. have Sheila Nagig with desperation okay then let's see what Fortuna with fate has to say stop spending money like water don't fight for what you cannot change look before you leap find out more about a person you're getting close to don't listen to gossip go to the source your luck is set to change. Ride out the storm as things are looking calmer ahead and go with a hunch. Should you stay or should you go? Should you tell or should you not? Spend the money or save it. It is if your decision making skills are based on a toss of a coin at the moment. Taking risks has served you well in the past, but your run of good luck may be deserting you if you do not apply a bit of common sense. Gambling your life away, so to speak, might be fine if it's just what the outcomes affect by seldom is that the case. The choices you need to make in life now will either put you on a firm and fruitful footing or lead you astray. Fortuna, who is Lady Luck, personified, she straddles the fine line between the prosperous and the barren, with the wheel of fortune weighing heavily around her neck, for that is her job. 
it is not yours today. So consider what you could win and what you could lose in the upcoming choice that you must make or you must leave nothing to chance. Next is the dear woman with temptation. You have feelings for another, the chance to make a quick buck present yourself. Some things are better left alone. Someone is trying to drag you back. Stay on the right side of the law. Seek help for a relapse. Don't lend money on a whim. If something looks too good to be true, that is because it's not true. Lead us not into temptation so that dear woman would softly whisper why not and beckon you to hear her all the time and the same. Sometimes a lesson must be fully experienced to be understood. You're being tempted to try something you would never normally steer clear of. Perhaps an affair, risky business venture, or even indulge in activities that pose a health risk. There is an innocence in a way in which this is happening, for that simply masks how close you are to the edge of the woods from which this beautiful goddess is calling you. Only you know if answering her is wise or not. If you decide to walk into the woods to give in to temptation, then be sure to take precautions. Let someone know what you were doing in advance. Be prepared to take responsibility when you can no longer see the wood for the trees. Or if you may have to find your own way out. Next, you have Ian Garner with health. Get yourself checked out. Speak about what ails you. For help is at hand from an unexpected quarter. You are not alone in your troubles. Others can offer great guidance. Exercise more, drink plenty of water, breathe, walk in nature, through woods, by the sea, around a lake or a reservoir. Your well-being is paramount. If your emotional state becomes foggy or overcome with troubles and worries, you cannot function for your highest good and others tend to suffer too. If your body has been flashing signs at you like sore joint, cramps, achy back or itchy skin, then now you really do need to get it seen too. Putting things off, saying you get around to doing it later or pretending everything is fine is no longer okay. Yes, it is true, we seldom feel totally on top of the world, nor are we often without some ailment or room for improvement. But if you turn this card now, then Ian Garner comes to state that things are not at all okay. Ignorance in matters of health is a poor excuse. Ask Ian Garner for the courage to face your fears and seek the help you need. The sooner, the better, the better the outcome will be. Baba Yaga, we have next with loss. Spend time connecting with the forest. You have lost sight of who you are. Something that has been lost to you will return. Don't lose the faith. Stop trying to seek attention. You are using only half of your true potential. Something is being hidden from you and you need to open your eyes. You are taking away people's moments that they have earned. Trying to win praise for oneself by pre-empting someone else's attempt to impress. It is a completely fake way to receive adulation. Baba Yaga knows what it is to be without love and understands that you sometimes need to steal the limelight in order to be noticed. However, Baba Yaga does not look kindly on those who have more than they need in life and she will take from those who do not appreciate what they have. Do you really wish Baba Yaga to teach you her hard lesson in understanding loss? Then start to appreciate what really does matter in life. Give praise where it is due and learn to hone and cherish who you are. Baba Yaga offer, offers to lead you out of the dark forest that ensnared you for a while, but is now lost to you forever. Okay, we then have Areshikal with coercion. Don't give in to emotional blackmail. Confine it someone you trust. Make a list of all your priorities and put them first. Be careful with whom you share your secrets with. Someone is asking way too many personal questions. Put some boundaries in place. A power struggle incites threats. Just walk away. 
You have seen some dark days indeed. It is as though your whole life has been run entirely by emotionally blackmail. A victim of coercion, you have carried the fear, guilt and shame placed upon you by others for their own benefits. Sensitivity to your own wants and needs is playing second fiddle to the desires of others. Unfortunately, this is the only survival skill for existence that you are familiar with. And so you too have become hostage to this way of dark enticement. Time to acknowledge and change your acceptance on any demands and have been placed too heavily upon you. Make a stand, be strong and don't be coerced into anything that does not sit well with you. A reshikal knows firsthand what it is like to be second best and advises you to walk away. She urges you to reclaim your personal power as you release any victimhood or blackmailing tendencies that life is too precious to be up for ransom. You then have Sheila Nagig. with uh, desperation. Stop being a rebel for the sake of it. Speak your truth lovingly. Try to see both sides of any situation. Draw upon your past experiences to grow stronger. Call upon the strength of Sekhmet to truly stand in your power. Disregard any lower agitations and shine your light. You are again very weary of empty promises. Time after time, you find yourself alone and rejected. A lack of self-worth has been following you around since you heard the immortalised words happily ever after. You have dreamed of the one of your beloved who whispers they've been waiting for you. However, all is not as you wish the fairy tale to be. You give your all only to have your life and soul sucked from you and then abandoned. So desperate to be loved, you find that anyone who will have you will do. You worry that you are not good enough, that nobody will ever love you as you beat yourself up. Sheila Nagig urges you to stop giving yourself to the first person who comes along and instead have dignity and pride in your own unique being. Value yourself and in turn in others will face value and love you for whom you are. So stop worrying. Okay, let's see what else we have for you then, um, Scorpio. Then any other messages? Yeah, we have Lilith. Mm -hmm. And then we have Skylar with drama. So we have Lilith with equality. Don't ever put your, you or yourself down or feel inferior to anyone. Walk your own path, hold on to your beliefs and don't be swayed by another. You are as good as anyone else. Snake symbols confirms your transformation. Stand your ground for equal pay and treatment and respect is key. What made you presume to be so high and mighty? Your ego self has enjoyed looking down its nose way too often when you compared yourself to others. And you much rather go off and do your own thing. Your own way, of course. Your way is far better than anyone else's, in your opinion. Whereas self-confidence is always encouraged. Lilith, the first woman of creation, reminds you that everyone is equal in the eyes of the goddess. She encourages you to not only admire your marvellous attributes, but see the gift in another's. Everything that is alive has its own place and unique energy to help this world tick. Harness your own strength and power and use it for the highest good. Lilith embraces the fact that you are not subservient to others. 
However, she will assist you in bringing your perception into balance so that you can defend your identity while embracing the equality of all. Okay, so we have a last one then, which is Skylar with drama. Understand that gossip affects the subject of the matter. What goes around comes around. You cry wolf too often. Don't be so quick to point the finger. Stop trying to steal the limelight. Don't get left in the wings. Someone is dominating a situation. And the Oscar goes to... <laughs> you should be on the stage. You're always the star of the show. What is it like to live in your own personal soap opera? It's interesting how much, how most events in your life always seem to turn into an epic drama. If you find that you thrive on attention, your words and actions create, then you are most definitely a drama queen. Skylar knows all about dramas and swims in to warn you to pick your performances with care. As you generally seem to make life unnecessarily complicated for everyone around you. It's time to drop the theatricals before you lose your faithful audience. You have immersed the truth and reality into that of a dramatic fiction. Skylar appreciates your insecurities but urges you to change this defence mechanism or she will drag you onto the rocks until you drown in self-pity. You are important and should not be invisible. Just try not to be so melodramatic about everything. Okay then Scorpio, so that's what I have for you. So that's the things that you need to know. Um, yeah, so if this can resonate with you to any extent and if you enjoy my readings, then please consider liking, sharing, subscribing and hitting that notification bell for more of my readings. Okay, until next time, take care. Bye-bye.